On this episode of Internet Business Mastery, we talk about the power of the entry-level product. And in the quick tip, we share a simple tip to make writing blog posts faster, simpler, and more productive. Welcome to InternetBusinessMastery.com, where you will learn to take control, make more money, and start an internet business today. Here are your hosts, Sterling and Jay. Hey everyone, I'm Sterling. And I'm Jay. And as always, we are on a mission to help you start your own internet business. You can go to freevideogift.com to check out our video that teaches you the right way to start your very own online business. So Jay, what's going on? Well, right now I'm super excited about the new blog series that just got started on our blog. A little light bulb went off, uh, actually a few light bulbs <laughs> went off. A few weeks ago, I was looking at some Google Analytics for a website that I had horribly neglected that I've been horribly neglecting now for probably a good four or five years. <laughs> yeah. It's a it's a site I launched in two thousand five. It ranks really well in Google number one spots. It gets I and I looked at the analytics and realized I'm getting between twenty and thirty thousand visits a month, which is wow. more than enough to be making, you know, some definitely turning that into an income stream. And I made the mistake of kind of shifting my focus from that site before I had really set up solid systems that could continue to bring me money. And so uh, sadly, the income for that side over the years has just kind of dwindled to next to nothing. So I'm like, okay, well, I want, I, you know, for myself, I'd really like the challenge of making this into an income stream again. I thought, well, why not make this, uh, you know, a kind of a case study, a, a teaching experience not only for myself as I learn some new things and apply them, but then also report that on the blog and just show all the numbers to our blog readers, all the traffic numbers and how much, you know, different things make report back on, on, you know, whether how, how much AdSense was making and how so much try some affiliate products, maybe try making, uh, putting my own product on there, whatever the case may be. And uh, so the first one is already up as of recording this. Actually, by the time this goes out, there'll probably be at least two in the series, maybe three. And my, my commitment is to every week report on the progress. So this is kind of an accountability thing for me because honestly, it's been weeks. In fact, it was probably actually a few months ago that I realized that the traffic was as high as it was. And I'm like, oh my gosh, what a missed opportunity for the last five plus years. So this is kind of a way to kick myself in the pants and go, okay, do something with this site. And if I'm accountable to all our, our audience to show them what I've done and, and how it's coming along, then that gets me motivated. Just that extra motivation to like, okay, now let's do it, which you know, I, I love having that accountability system built in. It's, it's often, that's why masterminds can be so great, partnerships, things like that. It's because sometimes that's what we need to get going. So I'm super excited, not only for the content that it's going to create on the blog, but also for the results that hopefully it'll bring for my side and me, something that I've been wanting to do for a while now. Yeah, I, I love it. And we got lots of response on that, that blog post, that first one, especially, and just showing that uh, people definitely want to see stuff like that. It's, it's actually even made, made me go, hmm, I wonder if I'll, I'll even start one from scratch just to show everybody as well. So I'm considering that as well. So there might even be two series Nice. <laughs> you know, yeah, it's it. fun stuff. People definitely seem to respond to that really well, getting to see that, uh, that inside, that inside loop on, on what's going on. So I already have tons of ideas of the kinds of things to talk about, but there's a lot of great questions on that first post. If you go to the blog and, and you look for, uh, let's see, what's the name of this series? I'm going to go to our site here real quick. I'm pretty sure I called it Niche Site Income, a real case, yeah, real time case study. So the first part's already up. Lots of great questions in the comments. And so I'm going to talk about, you know, how did I choose that niche? How did I, you know, get my traffic? How am I getting the rankings that I'm getting in Google? What are the things I did try already? What would I have done differently if I were to go back and some things like that? So it should be very insightful for people to check that out. And, you know, I, I don't know if so, so many people find us in iTunes. Maybe they don't realize that we do post to our blog as well. So if you were to visit our site, internetbusinessmastery.com and sign up for the newsletter, we share with you anytime new content comes out, or you can also subscribe in your favorite feed reader, Google reader or whatever, and be able to get updates that way. Because of course, iTunes is only pulling in our audio episodes. It doesn't, you know, it just ignores the text updates because that's not what iTunes is for. So I guess just a heads up for anybody who's discovered us through iTunes, maybe has listened to the show for a while and didn't realize there's all that other content also on the blog. So uh, be keeping an eye out for more niche site income, real-time case study posts coming up regularly on a weekly basis. Yeah. And just also, you know, keep track of the blog. We're going to have uh, a lot of new stuff coming out. 
We've talked a lot about uh, getting back to being more prolific in the actual blog as well as the show and other things that we do as well. So definitely go check that out. Go ahead and get on the email newsletter. We send out information on the posts we have out, videos, new shows, just stuff like that. So you'll be in the know. And now, the feature segment. So, Sterling, let's talk about the entry-level product. We said the title of this or the topic of this episode was the power of the entry-level product and why that's important to any business when it first gets started. And I guess you should start with by talking about what is an entry-level product. And honestly, I, I don't know that I like that phrasing entry-level product. Maybe it uh, it's too much of like an employee type word, like you think of entry-level job, but whatever, maybe there's a better phrasing for that. But really all, all we mean here when we say entry-level product is, well, that it's that point at which somebody enters into being a customer in your business. And so this is going to be traditionally a lower price point, so low barrier to entry. It's very easy for them to take that first baby step in this whole process, this first baby step in trusting you and your business. And so this is going to be, it's, you know, obviously what you want to do is solve one of the most pressing needs that your market might have to really hook them in, make them go, yeah, you know what? I think I am going to spend some money with this business, spend some money with this brand or with this person through their website. Yeah. And this is really important to understand because if you can solve a major issue at a low price point, then people will be far more willing to pay even more money to solve the next major issue. Absolutely. And so think of this as the beginning of the sales funnel, the beginning of a relationship with your customer, a beginning of the whole process that you're going to take them through, everything from that first bit of information, solving the first problem for them, all the way up to you know helping them with something big and maybe doing it on a higher access coaching level where they're paying you you know lots of money to get that additional help. But it all needs to start with this entry level thing. And examples of this would be something simple like uh, and perhaps an ebook or a video course, or even sometimes it's an actual physical book that somebody has in a bookstore. That's that first thing that somebody buys to discover their their the business and the model and what the person's talking about and start earning that trust with them. Yeah, there's also audio recordings or, you know, I even thought about the fact that some people put free apps out, you know, with limited function and then you upgrade to the paid apps. And then, of course, they try and sell you other apps, you know, so I, that that's even could be a front end thing if you have that kind of business model. Yeah, that's actually a good point that this entry level thing, it could be that a free version, a freemium type thing. And maybe it's somebody's just getting that free thing by simply uh, downloading it or entering an email address or signing up for a, a free account with your site. Uh, so there is still a, a little bit of exchange going on there all the way up to you know, actually spending perhaps 17, 27, 47, uh, uh, up to 97. I'd, I'd usually say depending on the niche, the entry level product is something under 97, but that's a good point that it could actually be a free thing as well, just depending on what your business model is going to be. And I guess we can talk in a, a minute about what some of the trade-offs would be about having a free versus a paid entry level product. But your goal when you start your business, it needs to be to get to that first sale of your own product, your own entry product, as soon as you possibly can. Now, when we teach people to start an internet business, you know, at first we say, start attracting that audience and put out affiliate offers. And that's a great way to get started because you can make some money fast. You don't have to make your own product, which can take some time. You can kind of prove out your idea a little bit sooner. And that's an excellent way to go. But obviously, eventually, you want people to be actually buying something that you created, connecting with your content directly and paying you directly for whatever this product or service or value is that you're offering. So when you are when you get to this first sale of your entry product, this it's a, a great way to prove out your business idea. You know, not not only have you just sold them other people's products, but now you've proven that you can come out, come out in the market, find a need that your audience has, create a solution for it. I mean, this is going back to some of that value creation stuff we were talking a couple episodes ago and get people to pay for that value. So it gets your cash flowing right up front and it also starts to build your customer list, which is one of the most valuable things you can acquire, not just an email list of prospects, but an actual list of people who have spent money with you. Yeah, and all of this also will build your confidence in the entire internet business thing as well as your own system. So again, as soon as you start seeing that uh, money coming in, that confidence shoots up, believe me, that even if, even if it's 10 bucks, you're like, yes, it's real. <laughs> Which goes back to that, uh, that idea of the true 
meaning or true kind of financial freedom that comes with knowing and having that confidence that you know how to create value that others will pay for. So that's an excellent point. I love that. And so, so your goal needs to be to get to that first sale of your own entry product as soon as you can. Well, and I'll tell you uh, one other thing I put up on the uh, our Internet Business Mastery Facebook page. I, I was talking about the next level is when you make money while you're asleep or away from the computer or, you know what I mean? Like in, in the case I've mentioned before, I was in Disneyland with my kids and uh, waiting in line, looked at my phone and you know, the amount of money that we had made since I'd been in Disneyland was there. And I was trying to teach my girls, see, look, while we're playing, I'm still making money. You know, that's the next level. But, you know, that first level is making that first dollar or that first $10 or whatever that first sale is. So why is it so important to your business to have that entry product and have that sale right away? Well, a huge amount of your income is going to be made on what we call the back end. And what this means is selling other products to existing customers. So you get people to buy that first product, they're now count as a customer, and then selling further services and further products and, and further value to them based on the other needs that they have. Now, this could actually end up accounting for a good 80% of your, your income. Of, you know, that percentage split's going to depend on your niche and your business model. But if you're making all of your money simply on the front end, acquiring new customers, you're definitely leaving a lot of money on the table. And the more customers you can acquire and the faster that you can actually acquire those customers, the faster your income is going to grow. Yeah, our monthly membership to the Academy has really been our front end for years, and it's under a hundred bucks. And and actually, <laughs> that's not a normal, typical, I think, uh, front end. We, we're about to change that, as a matter of fact. But what I wanted to say is that from our under a hundred dollar front end product, what we have right now, um, that generally leads to a higher price life, lifetime membership, and even a two, three, and six thousand dollar coaching. Now, how many people paying you six thousand dollars does it take to replace your current income? Just a thought, something to think about. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice thought for sure. <laughs> Now, you earn your market's trust also when you have that entry-level product. So it's again, it's a baby step. You know, people, maybe they've come to your site, they've discovered your content, perhaps they signed up for your email newsletter. So they've started taking these little actions towards building a relationship with you. And we talk a lot in our academy and all of our coaching courses about a money map that starts with getting people's attention, then getting their permission by having them you know, sign up for an email list. And then engaging with them with the relationship over time. And one of the greatest things that can solidify the relationship is when they decide, okay, it is worth spending some money with this person, buying this product. And then they get a lot of value. In fact, more value than they feel like the money that they spent with you. The trust is going to go way up and the likelihood that they're going to continue to buy from you goes way up as well. So you get a lot of trust in the marketplace by having this entry level product that you can just sell en masse and sell a lot of to a lot of people to acquire those customers quickly. It also acts as a great filter for your customer base. I mean, if you know the type of customer you want to work with, if you know you want to work with just beginners or you want to work with more intermediate or advanced people, you know, that entry level product helps people really identify themselves. If they've bought that product, then they've raised their hand and said, yes, I am the ideal person for it, you know, based on how you've marketed that product. You know, we could come out with our entry level product being some high level traffic thing. And clearly that would be more of a product to attract intermediate to advanced existing business owners versus an entry level product being how do you choose your niche and launch your first site. And so by choosing what that product is going to teach, it really helps you filter out and hone in your audience base or more specifically your customer base. So you get to work with the people that you do your best work with that you want to work with and you don't have to you know, mess around. We're big believers in working with the people you want to work with and not feeling like you have to be all things to all people. And then one of the greatest things about this is that it makes your customer acquisition free. And what we mean by this is, let's say you have a $47 product and you decide to go and buy some AdWords ads or some Facebook ads, or maybe buy some ads in somebody's email newsletter or buy a banner ad on somebody's site. You, know, you, can, you can afford to pay for advertising when you know that you have that front end product that's converting well. And so if that product is $47, then you know you can go spend $47 in advertising to acquire each customer. And if you know really well your numbers, the amount of conversion that you get. So let's say you know that uh, if you have 100 people see an ad that one of them is going to buy, then you know, you know how much you, know, and you can do all the calculations of, okay, well, this is how much I have to spend to get this ad in front of 100 people. And as long as one of them buys, here's where I'm going to be cutting even, or here's the profit I'm going to be making. And often it is worth cutting even, meaning spending $47 in advertising just to gain that first $47 sale 
just because then you have, again, identified a new customer. And if you've got a solid back end, a solid offer that you can follow up with them, even within a week or two, be following up with, or even at the moment of purchase, giving them other up, what we call upsells that they can buy, then it's worth, you know, spending all that front end money on advertising to make the large bulk of your money then on the back end. So that's something really important to think about. So that's why this front end product is so important. It's a, it brings a huge amount of income, al- allowing you to acquire those customers very quickly because then you can start putting them into your back end. It filters that customer base on the front end and it can make that customer acquisition free because if you know your numbers really well on that front end product, then you know how to just calculate it out. And at that point, if you know it's converting and you know it's working, well, you can go spend money all day long. I mean, if you know that you can easily go spend $47 to earn that 47 back, well, I'll spend that all day long to acquire new customers. I'll, you know, I'll spend as much money as I got in the bank on advertising to continue to, to acquire customers at that point because then it, it all comes out in the end and I'm, it's all going to be positive income on the back end. So this brings out, uh, this brings up a few points. It actually brings, there's another term that it's important to know here and that is the lifetime value of a customer. And these are all numbers that it will take some time to track, but it's important to have, you know, your analytics and, and to know, okay, how well does a particular ad uh, convert and how many people that visit a sales page actually sign up for the thing. But lifetime value of a customer is having an idea of when somebody comes and buys that first product from you, what is that average number that they're going to spend with you over the lifetime of being a customer? You know, So if the li- average person buys stuff from you for the next year or two, and you know, you know that uh, you know on average, they're going to buy you know, another two products and then eventually buy your coaching and your coaching is $5,000. But, you know, obviously at each level, there's a, a smaller percentage that might move up and spend that, those bigger amounts. But you, again, you average this across the board, then you might know, okay, well, my average customer is worth to me $950. And so that makes it really clear as to why, you know, you're cutting even with that $47 on the front end gives you that opportunity. You know that with that person, you're going to make that $950 on average because a certain percentage of them are going to buy your, your your lifetime membership program or buy your coaching program or, or buy your software service or buy a high-end mastermind coaching experience with you. So if you're listening to this and going, oh my gosh, wow, that sounds like a lot of tracking, sounds very overwhelming. It, it all depends on where you're at in your business. If you've already, so let, let's go ahead and break this down to just a couple next actions. If you're somebody who's just starting out and you haven't quite gotten to that first product that you know is selling to your market, then that should be your first goal. It should be to create that first product based on the needs that you see in your market because you've been interacting with them. Make a simple ebook, make a simple video course or a physical book or an audio recording or something that you know is going to solve that primary pain that your market has and start getting that thing sold in the marketplace. Price it according to what else you see going on in the marketplace. Do some split testing on that pricing and just try to get to those first sales and get that thing converting so that you prove your idea out. If you've already got your first product selling for you, then the recommendation would be, well, make sure you're starting to set up some very specific tracking. Make sure that you set up Google Analytics to be able to track the traffic and track the conversions. You can set up goals inside of Google Analytics to tell you you know, what percentage of people are, are converting to buy this thing and where are they coming from. And then you'll have a good idea of numbers so that when you start buying ads or buying other traffic, you kind of know what you can expect again in the numbers and make decisions such that you are always cash positive, that you always cut even. So the beginner, get to your first sale. The more intermediate person who's already sold their entry level product, make sure you've got your tracking in place so that you can start working to a very solid back end. And this is something that we've been, you know, massaging and working on in our own business, even for, for the last few years. You know, it can take some time and you're constantly tweaking and it's not like you just arrive suddenly at the perfect system, but it's these principles you need to know to really dial things in well for yourself. So speaking of which, we actually have an admission to make. I mean, earlier Sterling said our front end product's basically been our membership product. And that has worked quite well for us and it's helped us acquire a lot of customers. But you know, ideally, we also realize that as we go to other sources of traffic, other sources of getting people's attention, you know, sometimes that first baby step with your company being a recurring charge, a recurring membership site is not always going to be the first step that somebody wants to make. So if we came out with, you know, a one time product, that's about the same price point as what our monthly membership. That's a good rule of thumb. You know, if you if you know you're going to have a monthly membership that you want to sell people into, and and the price point is going to be seventy dollars for that monthly recurring membership, it, you know, try to come out with a seventy dollar one time charge on the front end that they can buy first, earn that trust, solve a big problem with them, have them see the kind of content and the quality of content that you deliver, the kind of value that you deliver to them. 
And so that's something that we've actually been working on for a good long time. We've realized that in a way, we kind of have a hole on our front end, even though the membership site's done quite well for us. And so we've been out there looking a lot. Even it's It's been quite a while that we've known that we needed to plug that hole on the front of our uh, on the front of our sales funnel. So we've been having our ear to the ground for it's probably been what, like a year, year and a half now? Well, we've been, yeah, started about testing about a year and a half ago or so. So really listening to the needs of our market. And this is actually something we're going to talk about in the next episode. And not only that, but then going out and finding the best information to plug that hole, testing some things out and figuring out what is that ideal front end product going to be. And, uh, you know, we're excited to say we're getting close to actually releasing that new front end product, that first step that people uh, can take there. Now, again, it's not, uh, the membership site, the, the Lifetime Academy uh, and the monthly membership to the Academy have worked really well. We have lots of customers who have uh, purchased that. People are coming from the podcast to purchase from us. The, the level of trust is already quite high because of the highly, you know, high engagement level that you get with a medium like podcasting. But as we try to expand our platform and go out further, we'd like to dial in and find that front end thing that uh, that we know that we can you know go spend that forty seven dollars of advertising to acquire a new uh, customer and at the same time see if we can fill the needs even more precisely of the market that we're that we've been working with you know people who want to start their first internet business people who want to prove that they can start a business and and then you know get excited about building whatever financial freedom or taking control in their life the goals that they have for themselves now, our business has always been about helping people build a solid business that not only fits their strengths and their passions, but is also one that you know, two years, three years, five years from now is still going to be a solid business. It's not going to be a flash in the pan. It's not going to disappear overnight. It's got a solid foundation and bring you freedom for the rest of your life if that's what you, you know, choose to have from this business. But one need that we have identified in our market is that you know, this is something we've been hinting at with the financial freedom episode and even earlier in this episode is how can we help people get to that first income as quickly as possible so that then they have that proof in their mind and you know, whatever method can, can get that first income stream, even if that income stream is just an intermediary step to the more solid foundation business that we like to teach, what can, wh how can we take a subset of the skills that we teach and can we find a methodology and a formula that's easily repeatable by people that people, you know, they don't need any kind of special skills. They don't need a lot of money to put into, into action and they can get to that first income stream quickly. So it proves to their mind, not only that, you know, what we're saying is true, not only that our system, uh, as we lay it out, works, but most importantly in themselves and their ability to be able to identify a need and create value on the internet in such a way that people pay them for their value. And so that's what we're looking for on, for this front end product is hitting that need that we see in the market and helping people get to that confidence boosting experience very quickly, but still having it be a natural progression in the system that we've always taught of, of foundational. I mean, this is internet business mastery. This is Let's build something that you're going to be proud of and it's going to be fulfilling and that's going to keep making money for you for years. And we think we've finally identified and dialed in what that step before is going to be. And so that would make an ideal entry-level product. And we just kind of want to drop that hint here that we are, we, again, we've been hard at work testing things, looking around, getting different info for over a year now. And uh, we're nearing the point where we'll be ready to release this new system to our audience as an entry level product. So I just want to get you excited and looking forward to that. Yeah, I was going to say too that it it uh, it partially stemmed from something I was looking into again maybe a year and a half ago or so because my twelve year old asked me, "Hey, how how do I start an internet business?" <laughs> right, and I'm like going, "This is awesome." Okay, awesome, and and so yeah. I, she actually went through one of the checklists from the academy. And I can't remember how many pages it is, four or five pages of trying to get your niche and figuring all that stuff out. And as she was going through that, um, she, you know, it was interesting to watch her go through our step by step academy and fill stuff out. But it was interesting because she, at 12, wasn't quite sure yet what she wants to do as an expert site. Right. And it was one of those things where I was like, okay, this is interesting. And I think there are two major type of people that listen to the show or want to get started with internet business. Now, there's the one type of person that, you know, wants to be that expert, wants to ha build this humongous empire. 
And they're, they're already sure of it right from the beginning. And right. then I think the other type of person is, look, I just need 500 bucks extra a month or whatever it is. I need $2,000 extra a month. And th- it, it, they're not quite as concerned as, oh, I need to build this entire huge empire. Maybe they actually like their job. Maybe they just need a side income or this kind of thing. So it was like not only having you know my 12-year-old daughter in mind and actually my youngest sister you know, who's hasn't figured out what the expert thing is yet. And even though I've helped her with other things, she's like, yeah, I'm just not quite there yet. She wants to actually do something a step before to see it work. She wants to see it work. You know, she wants to see that first dollar. And certainly whenever we do surveys for you, the listener, for people who listen to this show, one of the things we get all the time is, you know, they want to see it, you know, see that it's real. And so that's where we, you know, really started developing this. And that's where, you know, again, when my daughter did that, you know, we were talking and, and, and saying, wow, we hear that quite a bit that people want to, you know, you know, have something where they can test the water and get started before making their empire. So this could be, if you're already ready, you know, the academy, that's, that's what we have set for people who, you know, really want to create that expert site and, you know, really get their empire going. Uh, but again, you know, if you want to do, you know, just get started, that's, that's, what our entire drive has been, you know, for maybe a year and a half now is really get that hammered out so it's perfect and, and good for, you know, and the right thing for people to get started. I could just okay. ramble on and on. So, <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's funny, I think we resisted for a little while doing this kind of front end product because we always wanted our message to be about, you know, solid what works in the long term. And, and we didn't want to, Come out sounding like ooh the, the flash in the pan make money overnight the quickest fastest da 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 you know whiz bang which you know you see in the internet marketing business all over the place you know the truth is is that a lot of those fast things just flat out don't work or a lot of those fast things they work for a little while and then they stop working so you know how how do we strike that balance of you know teaching people the solid thing that's going to work in the long term but also giving them that confidence boost in the short term and again having it being one continuous. Uh, process that makes sense and this steps them up that ladder of progression according, as you said, to whatever their financial goals may be right now at the time and they can ramp it up at their own will. Um, but again, I think we found a way to, to balance that out and, and, you know, and to, and to avoid falling into that whole thing of like, oh my gosh, we've got the 48 hours to blah, da, da, blah, you know, yeah, riches yeah. and, and kind of thing, which is not what our, our we've never wanted our show to be, uh, about that. But I, I'm really excited about what we're working on. Uh, again, like you said, you were super excited when you were coming across this stuff a uh, year, year and a half ago. We've been getting excited about it again here recently and uh, can't wait. I know we're just kind of teasing here, but uh, more details will be out soon. But I, I've got a real good feeling about this entry product. And so I guess the last point to make is watch as we roll this out. And not only will, and you will see the principles that we've been talking about in this episode in action over the next several months. I mean, we always want our, our, show to be about not only watch listening to what we say, but also watching what we do. So here's the heads up to kind of watch that process as it unfolds. Yeah. And the last point I wanted to make is as we're talking all about bringing value to people and, you know, the last few episodes we've been really talking about, you know, understanding your market, finding value for them. This is, you know, our, uh, you know, going to try and find more value for a larger portion of the audience. Like if people are just like, Hey, look, I just need $500 a month. I don't, you know, specifically want to create, you know, a huge business that in five years is making me a million dollars or something. You know, like I just want something simple and easy that I can do very part time. You know, we wanted to fill that market as well because anytime we go out into the world and see what other people are doing and, you know, see what actually works and what doesn't, you know, it's, it can be a very dismaying. Is that a word? Dismaying. <laughs> causing dismay, yeah, causing yeah, dismay. Something. <laughs> dismaying experience <laughs> always my public school education coming out anyway uh but <laughs> but yeah i mean as i i searched and looked at other things that were out there i was like ah oh, this isn't working or this isn't working so you know we wanted to be able to you know talk to that market as well those people that want that. Well, I love that litmus test of your 12-year-old daughter and i think what well, what could be cool really cool is to have the 12 year old case study on our blog. We've already had one blog post by a nine year old. So, um, that could be actually pretty darn cool. It's like, okay, we've dialed the system in a 12 year old made money with it. And here's the case study to prove it. That would be really awesome. Oh, that's in the works. So there you go. Sweet. Very cool. 
All right, this episode's breakthrough comes from an Academy member by the name of Jockway Hiles. He says, hello, Jay and Sterling. I just finished my ebook, The PM Blackboard. I nice released job. it to my subscribers. Now I have an awesome website, howtopassthepmexam.com. People that want to hear what I have to say and an ebook to build my reputation. Sweet. It has also helped me to become the go-to guy at work. Everyone from managers to fellow coworkers come to me for help when they want to prepare for passing the PMP exam. When it came to writing the ebook, I think the biggest thing that helped me get through writing the ebook was focusing on making progress and not perfection. I wonder where I've heard that before. Yeah, that sounds very <laughs> familiar. Academy. It's a, it's a great lesson. There were times when I would get bogged down by worrying about the details and not focusing on the content. My advice is to focus on the writing and then go back and worry about things like font size, graphics, etc. I can't wait to see where I'll be in December for my one-year anniversary of being a part of the Internet Business Mastery Academy. I've also made it to the first page of Yahoo.com with my keyword search of how to pass the PM exam. I've also made it to the first page of Google.com with keyword research of how to pass the project manager exam. This program developed by Jane Sterling does work, but you have to put in the effort. Thanks, Jane Sterling. Best regards from a lifetime member of the Internet Business Mastery Academy. And that's from Jacque Hiles of how to pass the PM exam.com. Man, that is so cool. I absolutely love hearing those ones. First page of both of them. Nice. Yeah, awesome. So getting some good traction and that must just feel just so fulfilling to finally have that ebook, that product, that great value you can put out there to your market. So congratulations, Jacque, and please give us the, uh, keep us in the loop on your continued progress. All right. And by the way, I also wanted to remind everyone else that they can come join the party at facebook.com forward slash internet business mastery for, you know, community updates and, and more. And remember, there's a live question and answer call each month for coaching members where you can ask us anything about starting and running your internet business. Not a coaching member yet? No problem. Just visit internetbusinessmastery.com forward slash coaching to get the latest information about our coaching program. It's time for the Internet Business Quick Tip. So the quick tip for this episode, I don't know why I didn't think about this earlier. And some people listening might be like, duh, that's how I do it anyway. But <laughs> recently when I was writing the first in that blog series that we mentioned earlier in the episode, you know, I went into WordPress and I was starting to type and, you know, different people have different editors. I don't know. Some people might type in Word and then paste it over, whatever. I, I, I'm fine just doing it in that editor. But I was kind of like, you know, this feels a little bit, you know, kind of feels a little bit cramped sometimes writing in that little editor. And then all of a sudden it dawned on me, it's like, wait a second, there's a full screen button up here in the toolbar. And so I clicked that. And I think maybe I had used that before, like years ago, but it wasn't nearly as cool back then. But, you know, it does this cool little slides up and opens everything up. And then I'm like, wow, you just have like this nice, clean, white screen and, you know, nothing else on the page cramping or you can, you know, just see very clearly what you're typing, see a lot of it all at once. And then to go even further, I, you know, I hit F11, which in pretty much any browser goes full screen for the browser. So then all of a sudden I just had this nice full white screen with just no other distractions to write on. And I found it was very nice for, you know, kind of pounding my ideas out as I was just going through that initial phase. I mean, kind of like Jockway was saying with his email or, or making his ebook, the whole idea of, you know, just write and write and write and don't worry about fonts or organization or editing. And, you know, that's what I try to do when I first go through a blog post is just to kind of you know, jam everything out as quickly as possible. And it just made a really nice kind of uh, just experience, I guess, to to lay this blog post out. So there's, there's a little tip for anybody who didn't realize in the WordPress editor, there's the full screen button you can hit. And then if you want to take it a step further and get rid of any of the, the browser distractions at the top, hit F11. You just have a nice blank slate to get your ideas out for your next piece of content. I had no idea this whole time. <laughs> I, I just went while you were talking about it. And it's, yeah, in the top row, it's called the toggle full screen and it's alt shift G and boom, it makes it beautiful. I mean, it's a lot better to work on a post when you don't have all the other stuff distracting you. That's awesome. If you'd like to get dozens of resources such as this one, you can find them in the Internet Business Mastery Academy, along with video tutorials showing you exactly how we use many of them. So to get your risk-free trial membership to the Academy, go to internetbusinessmasteryacademy.com. 
You've been listening to the iconoclasts of the 9 to 5, Sterling and Jay. Sterling and Jay invite you to discover one of their most popular video programs ever, the online business freedom formula. Visit freevideogift.com right now to get instant access to this life-changing video series. Pull directly from the acclaimed Internet Business Mastery Academy membership community. Go now to freevideogift.com. Take control. Make more money. Start an Internet business today.